at the core of it all is that general accounting practice is sales minus expenses tells me what's left for profit. And Mike emphasizes that that's the habit that we've been trained by, by accounting principles. And in our reality as micro business owners, that is wrong. Uh, we need to change our thinking to sales minus profit equals expenses. We need to put profit first and then adjust our business to ensure that we're going to have profit now because that will allow us to have even more profit in the future. So he every one of the things I love about the book is that every chapter ends with easy first steps. And sometimes there's one and sometimes there are three. Uh, but Mike is very clear. Go out. Stop reading. Do this. Now, if you're trapped in the mountains, you can't do it right away. And so you keep reading and you get even more excited. But he makes it very clear. You need to go do this now. You need to go do this now. And every chapter ends with some easy first steps. You know, the first one, I believe is in chapter two, is open a new bank account um, for your profit and put 1% in. Um, so we're going to start setting aside profit today. We're going to make that a priority. Uh, chapter three talks about the next mechanical steps. And again, I found those took me uh, about an hour or maybe two to do. It was very easy to get the ball rolling one step at a time. Uh, chapter four, I believe it is, talks about doing your instant assessment. And this is really cool. He gives you in about 15 minutes, maybe less. If you want to know where you're, where you should be and start to get a picture of your target, do this instant assessment and <laughs> the results are a little shocking. You'll find that you're way off where you really want to be or where you should be for your industry. He talks about allocating uh, percentages and this is really cool. So we get it. He gets into sort of assigning your money and doing this envelope style or this small place style marketing uh, budgeting. And he talks about targeted allocations percentages and your current and so you do this instant assessment and you say okay this is where i want to be when my business is healthy when when not even when it's healthy when i hit my goal uh, it might be a one-year goal or a five-year goal for me it was a one-year goal i felt like i could get there in a year these are my percentages for profit. This is what my profit percentage is going to be. That'll mean I need to set aside this amount for taxes, this amount for operating, and he gets into some of those details. So you set your targets, and then you evaluate where you are currently. And that says, okay, this is where I'm starting, and this is where I want to go. And and you track that. And so you get then into uh, beginning, putting that into motion. Um, so Mike breaks it down into an easy two-week cycle. Uh, his recommendation is the 10th and the 25th, and that works really well. Uh, you take your money and you distribute it to your accounts according to your current allocation percentages. And then every quarter, you take your profit. 